Hello everybody, I am Teacher Mary and for today's video, we will gonna tackle about art is all around us and is created by different people. Good morning class! Good morning, okay, so before we have our prayer, let me discuss first our rules that you should all follow, okay? My rule is just so simple. When I say one, you will clean your desk and under your chairs and throw your garbage to the trash can. When I say two, you will straighten your chairs and your desk in every row, okay? When I say three, keep quiet. When I say four, stand up quietly and carefully. And when I say five, it's a prayer. Am I clear? Very good. Okay, so now one. is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sinned against us. Do not bring us to the test but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning children. Good morning. Okay we will have our attendance now and please say present if I call your name. Okay. Kim Lynette Fuentes, Ed Chandi Sargeza, Giancarlo, Princess Anna Marie. Okay, very good. No one is absent today. Okay, now let's have an energizer. Let us all stand and let's sing and dance the shape song. Yes, very good. We can make a picture with the use 
pieces of shapes only. And that is all about we will tackle today. So our lesson for today class is all about art is all around and is created by different people. Are you ready to learn about art? Wow, that's the spirit. So I have here a picture. Do you see the different shapes in the picture? If you do, can you tell me the shapes you see and point it here? Okay, yes. Princess. Triangle. Where is the triangle? Yes, the roof of the house and the leaves of the tree. What else? Circle. We have here the circle, right? Yes. What else? Can you point it here? Add. Very good. The square and rectangle. Where is the rectangle? This one. The tree and the door of the house. Do we miss something? None. Okay, so we have here the clouds. Cloud is also a part of shapes. But later on, I will tell you and discuss what kind of shape is the cloud? We can see art in every place where we could be. Art has its own different shapes. Do you believe that art is all around us? Okay. Okay, class, so you may think what is an art? So, we have here the meaning of the art. So, art is an activity or creation by people that can be seen all around us. Art is an activity that involves skills and talents of a person. So aside from the shapes, is there anything or are there any things that we can use to create an art? Yes, very good. And that is what we will tackle today. Now we have here the four basic elements of arts. First is the line. Line is a series of points and dots. So we have two kinds of lines here. The straight lines and the curved lines. So you already know what are the straight lines. When we say straight lines, it is just a plain straight lines. When we say curved lines, of course, it should never be straight. It should be curved or wavy lines. Very good. So, we use straight lines when we draw a stick man, right? Or a broomstick. Very good. We use curved lines when we draw a waves. Very good. The second element of art is the shapes. So now we are going to talk about the shapes. So shapes is an area enclosed by the lines. We have two kinds of shapes. The geometric shapes and the organic shapes. Geometric shapes are the shapes that has an even form. While the organic shapes do not have an even form. It is not regular in form. So, what are the examples of geometric shapes? So, basically, the shapes that we all know, the square, rectangle, diamond, triangle, those are the shapes that belong in the geometric shapes. So, what shapes are in the organic shapes picture? So, the example of organic shapes are the heart, thunder, star and of course the only thing that was mentioned in our in the picture a while ago the clouds clouds is a shape which belonged in the organic shape the third elements of art is colors colors can make your drawing or your art beautiful colorful and pleasing to the eye of the people there are two kinds of colors the primary and the secondary colors okay so teacher what are the colors in the primary and the secondary 
So in primary, we have three colors, the red, blue, and yellow. And in the secondary color, we have the green, violet, and orange. Can you say it in the primary? What are those colors in the primary? The red. Very good. How about in the secondary? Very good. Lastly is the fourth basic elements of art which is the texture what is texture teacher okay texture is the feel the appearance of a substance or a surface so texture is basically how we see things if it is rough or it is smooth or hard something like that there are four kinds of texture we have the smooth soft rough and hard so what are those texture belongs in the smooth we have the glass and tomato right when we touch glass it is so smooth the tomato is so smooth rough the example of rough is the jackfruit and rock the right when we touch the rock it is so rough or the jackfruit is so rough Next is the soft. For example, are the soft toys and the pillows. It's so soft. You want to hug it because it's so soft. Next is hard. Example is wood and hammer. Okay, so those are the four basic elements of art. What are those? Lines, shapes, color and texture very good can you give me an example of a primary color yes red how about in secondary color very good violet now you know the basic elements of art let us now learn how these elements can be used in creating an art so let us watch this video for us to learn